Are you ready to hear the 2021 Nutmeg Book Award Middle School nominees? For some extra interest, see if you can identify the announcer's voice. Hi everyone, I'd like to introduce a 2021 Nutmeg Book Award nominee. The book is called Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. It is about an 11 year old girl named Ali who finds solace in books and she finds one and there's a bunch of crazy things that start happening and there's ominous warnings about small spaces and a smiling man and it's about whether she'll be able to save herself and her classmates. I look forward to reading this book. Ooh, I love a good mystery. The main character's friend was found dead on his farm. Another friend is missing. The Truth as Told by Mason Buttle sounds intriguing, and that's why I nominate this book for the 2021 Nutmeg Award. I can't wait to find out what really happened. What nutmeg book am I presenting? And what nutmeg book am I psyched to read? The Epic Fail of Artura Zamora by Pablo Cartaya. Why? Because I'm a sucker for anything that says epic fail in the title. That's why. The Night Diary is an amazing story about one family's really difficult journey from the newly formed Pakistan to India in 1948. I loved that it's a story told by a 12-year-old girl named Nisha uh, in a series of letters that she writes to her dead mother. I didn't know anything about this period of history, and it was fascinating, so I hope you enjoy. I think you should read the book New Kid by Jerry Craft. Entering a new school definitely has its challenges. Learning a new culture, trying to share your differences, exploring these ideas about why I can fit in, why I can't, what are the ba barriers. But it also provides an opportunity to reinvent yourself, and that's exciting. The book I want to read is Nixia by Scott Rankin. Seems to be what I'm looking for. Fast-paced, like the Hunger Games and Maze Runner, a high-stakes space setting. It's part of a trilogy. It's a sci-fi thriller. It's got a lot of diverse characters in it. Looks like something I want to read, and I think you will too. If you like Maze Runner, if you like the Hunger Games, if you like space, if you like diverse characters, this is the one for you. I want to read The Stars Beneath Our Feet by David Barclay Moore. It's about a young man who is recovering from a tragedy in his family. He lives in New York City, and he is finding creative ways to find his way back to what he might consider to be a normal life. And he's channeling a lot of creativity into Legos. I love New York. I love Legos. And I love a story about powerful characters that stay with me for a long time. Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World by Ashley Herring Blake is a Nutmeg nominee. Did you know that annually there are approximately a thousand tornadoes every year in the United States? And already it's just May and we've already had almost 500. In this book, the 12-year-old Ivy loses her notebook of super secrets and all her possessions in a tornado. But will it be important in the end? I can't wait to read it and find out. Hello. I've chosen to read The Bells by Danielle Clayton. I was drawn by the title and premise of the story. It looks part fantasy and part social commentary. Beauty is prized in all society, yet we're told it's in the eye of the beholder and it's only skin deep. How do we reconcile these two ideas which we struggle with in the real world? Will the book tackle them? I can't wait to find out. In a Forbes interview about The Prince and the Dressmaker, author Jen Wong said that she had been wanting for a while to do a story about a character whose superpower is, get this, making clothes that transform the wearer. Gender expression is something she always thought about when she was growing up, 
And then she watched a RuPaul show and kind of everything came together for her for this book. So these are two concepts that are something I can't wait to read about in Jen Wong's graphic novel, The Prince and the Dressmaker. All images used to make this video are from the official Nutmeg Book Award promotional materials.